हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास दैट इज केमिस्ट्री गुरुकुल एंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बेसिसिटी ऑफ एसिड्स एंड एसिडिटी ऑफ बेसिस यू विल बी वॉन्डरिंग वॉट मैम इज स्टार्ट टीचिंग टूडे सी चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज अ कंसेप्ट विच यू माइट नॉट बी नोइंग दिस इज न्यू टू यू इन दिस क्लास सो नी नॉट टू वंडर अबाउट इट वी विल स्टडी एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डज इट मीन वेन एवर एसिड्स दे रिएक्ट विथ वॉटर मीन्स इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वॉटर वेन दे डिसोसिएट दे हैव द कैपेसिटी टू आयनाइज ओके सो हियर इफ इन एक्वस मीडियम एसिड एन एसिड इज वेन आयोनाइजेस इट प्रोड्यूसेज एच प्लस आयन एंड फर्दर द एलिमेंट इज लिबरेटेड हियर यू कुड सी द डेफिनेशन इज दैट द नंबर ऑफ रिप्लेसिबल हाइड्रोजन एटम्स प्रेजेंट इन एन एसिड विच इट प्रोड्यूसेज एज एच प्लस आयंस वेन डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर और इन इट्स एक्वस सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड बेसिसिटी ऑफ द acid we will see how it happens by taking some examples here i have already written here see first one mono basic acids have basicity 1 here why i am uh, telling you basicity 1 because hcl has capacity to liberate only one h plus ion in aqueous medium now next is di basic acids have basicity 2 di means 2 so basicity will be 2 why 2 because it produces only 2 plus 2 h plus ions similarly in tri basic acids have basicity 3 because here 3 h plus ions are liberated see don't confuse it with that how much hydrogen atoms is attached to a compound this is not at all the concept here children you could see here i am giving you another example here suppose i am taking here acetic acid so you could see that acetic acid has four hydrogen atoms present in it so does it have basicity four it will have according to you should uh, know that its basicity is only 1 it's not 4 so never compare with the concept that the number of hydrogen atoms present in a compound in a acid it shows its basis its basicity no this concept is wrong because here we could see that in case of acetic acid it has four hydrogen atoms but its basicity is 1 it means it is the capacity of that acid to how much h plus ion it can liberate in aqueous medium we have already seen that it has capacity to liberate only one h plus ion we have already seen because it is a weak base so it does not ionizes completely that's why it liberates only one hydrogen atom ion that's why its basicity will be 1 i hope you have understood this now moving on to the next definition that is definition of acidity of bases the number of replaceable hydroxyl groups present in a base or which it produces as oh minus ions when it is dissolved in water or in aqueous solution is called acidity of the base similarly just we have talked about basicity here we will see that acidity means how much os oh minus ion is liberated in case of base this indicates its acidity so first we can see here mono acidic bases have acidity 1 mono means single one so here we could see that noh when it ionizes it will produce only one hydroxyl ion in case of diacidic bases acidity will be 2 because they will liberate two hydroxyl ion see here in case of calcium hydroxide 
कैल्शियम प्रोड्यूसेस टू हाइड्रोक्सिल आयंस सिमिलरली इन ट्राई एसिडिक बेसिस दे हैव एसिडिटी थ्री सो हियर एलमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विल प्रोड्यूस थ्री हाइड्रोक्सिल आयंस इन एक्वस मीडियम नाउ यू कूड ऑल्सो डू वन क्वेश्चन इफ आई आस्क यू वॉट विल बी द एसिडिटी ऑफ मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड आउट इट्स एसिडिटी विल बी टू बिकॉज इट हैज कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस टू हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन बिकॉज इट्स फॉर्मूला इज एम जी ओ एच होल टू आइस इट इज ऑल्सो अ वीक बेस सो वेन एवर इट विल आयोनाइज इट विल प्रोड्यूस टू एम जी टू प्लस एंड ओ एच टू ओ एच माइनस आइंस सो इट्स एसिडिटी विल बी टू हियर ओके नाउ some of the children they ask me that ma'am what is the difference between alkalies and bases see children all the alkalies can be bases but all bases cannot be alkalies understood how you can understand this concept see alkalies means those bases which have tendency to dissolve in water so in your syllabus you will study only about those bases which are soluble in water suppose till now we have discussed about all the bases which are hydro which are having hydroxide ions attached to them but some of the oxides are also bases such as metallic oxides they are bases but they are not alkalies but if you will dissolve them in water they will form alkalies i hope you have understood this now our last topic is uses of bases all seven bases i have taken here and i have written their uses also one by one we will discuss first one is sodium hydroxide noh it is very important reagent used in laboratories for practicals in schools also in uh, universities also so here you could see used in manufacture of soaps paper synthetic fibers you have already studied about synthetic fibers in your junior classes like rayon okay next petrol refining and as a laboratory reagent second is potassium hydroxide it is used in alkaline batteries and soft soaps means it is used for preparation of soft soaps now next calcium hydroxide it is used in manufacture of bleaching powder and it is also used for neutralizing the soil sometimes those areas which are prone to acid rains their soil becomes acid means acidity increases in the soil so to neutralize the effect calcium hydroxide is used there fourth is magnesium hydroxide this is also known as antacid and milk of magnesia this is used as antacid to neutralize the acidity if indigestion happens to someone due to acidity then magnesium hydroxide is given to that person fifth is nh4oh it is used for removing grease or stains from the clothes next is sodium carbonate na2co3 it is used to prepare baking powder and cleansing powders cleansing powders means here detergent washing sodas seventh is sodium hydrogen carbonate just now i told you sodium carbonate is used to prepare sodium hydrogen carbonate and it is also used to cure indigestion and in very important use is soda acid fire extinguisher this this also you have studied in your previous classes and it is used as baking soda in cooking food also so this is all about acids and bases till now in my videos i have completed all the properties physical chemical and uses of acids and bases now in my coming videos you will study or uh, about ph scale that is is how to calculate the strength of acid and bases this is it for today's topic now have a good day